South Florida is in the grips of a serious pollution problem. Look around. Our streets are lined with cans, bottles, plastic bags, you name it. Trash. People just throw on the ground instead of in a garbage can where it belongs. Tonight in our ongoing series, Don't Trash Our Treasure, we take a deep dive into all that litter to show you the effect it's having on our waterways and why it's killing our bay. It's gotten really bad. Ola Restaurant on South Beach offers waterfront dining, but when the tide is high, no one wants to eat outside. We've had customers complain, sometimes the smell, we have um, animals sometimes floating, dead. What was once the idyllic Lake Pancos that runs along Collins Avenue from 41st to 23rd Street has transformed into a virtual garbage dump at the southernmost tip. People who live and work nearby say it gets trashed every single day. It gets worse than this. This is, this is average. I live right over there, so I see this every single day. The scene repeats itself all over Miami-Dade County. Our waterway is looking more like drifting landfills. In case you haven't noticed, we have a serious pollution problem. It's getting worse, and it's strangling our precious backyard. All that stuff comes into a small canal like this, the, that causes anoxia, and I get it that people don't understand that. It's incumbent on us to get them to understand that. Anoxia is what happens when there's a lack of oxygen in the water. It's what caused the fish kill last summer in Biscayne Bay. Since then, FIU's Institute of Environment has been closely monitoring low oxygen levels in the bay, primarily caused by dangerous nutrients from land-based pollution. All of us are responsible. Not a lot of people understand where this plastic comes from. They think it's people that's throwing it in the water, but the majority of plastics, almost 80% of plastics found in our ocean, come from land-based sources like outfalls and, and, and streetways. That's right, the majority of trash we see in our waterways is the direct result of poorly managed trash on land. Here's the one thing we all have to understand. It doesn't matter how far west you think you are from any body of water, whether you're in Miami Gardens, Miami Lakes, Doral, West Kendall, or even Homestead. Whatever trash you throw on the ground or out your car window, more than likely will get swept up into a storm drain that will then empty out into one of our many canals that will then dump all that pollution right into Biscayne Bay. Back in Biscayne Bay, following a beautiful rain, but with that rain, always comes trash. Just look at the bottom of Biscayne Bay at Morningside after a heavy rain. Cans and plastic bottles and plastic wrappers of all shapes and sizes, all of it came from the land. Three miles from here is connected to this bay in a matter of minutes when a canal is fully flowing and the gates are open. We are killing our planet, our animals. Why? Sophie Ringel also lives near Ola. Encountering trash and litter every day in her beloved South Beach made her angry. Who are these people? Why does nobody care about this? What is wrong with us? What are we doing? I really don't understand it and it makes me so sad. Sophie channeled her frustration creating the nonprofit Clean Miami Beach, one of several volunteer organizations that are out there in the community at least once a week cleaning up our beaches, our waterways, and our causeways of all the litter from thoughtless people. This is our home. Stop it. A beer can here, a plastic bag there, a plastic bottle, a mask may not seem like much, but from 2019 to 2020 alone, Sophie's organization, along with Clean This Beach Up and Send It For The Seas, picked up 92,000 pounds of trash combined. So far this year, they've picked up 20,000 pounds and counting all from people constantly littering. We know it's so damaging, we know it's so harmful, and yet we just ignore it and continue using it. Cleanups are just a band-aid. They are not the solution. The solution is us. How much and what we consume and how we throw it away. The change has to come from us. Change isn't easy, but it has to happen. We must do something about this. We must do something about this. Almost 3 million people call Miami-Dade home, 2 million in Broward, that's 5 million people producing a lot of trash. Litter laws are tough to enforce and critics say the penalties aren't severe enough when they are enforced. More education and community engagement is needed and our storm drains desperately need an upgrade to prevent all that trash from entering our waterways. We'll continue to explore that 
Watch the space. For more on how you can get involved to make a difference, log on to our website, local10.com, and look for the Don't Trash Our Treasure tab.